Good day. My research project is on orchard floor management and soil health in deciduous fruit orchards. Management strategies such as minimum till and cover cropping will be assessed in this project, as well as the effect of these strategies on the soil health and trees in these orchards. Soil health involves ensuring diversity in the soils. It is important to keep in mind that there is no quick fix to soil health. Every management strategy should rather be considered for long-term use. The trial sites for my research project are found in two climate areas, namely Lorraine in the Weidenbockerfeld and Bockfeldskloof in the Koa Bockfeld, with five treatments at each site and the fifth treatment being a control. At each site, we have five treatments with five replicates each. The fifth treatment, as mentioned, will be a control treatment. And as you can see in the table, with every treatment, there's an increase in diversity of cover cropping. This will aid in determining if increased diversity in cover crops will increase biodiversity in the soil. Now the obje objectives of my project is to establish a large scale cover crop trial, to assess cover crop trials in a large scale and to assess cover crop species in a small scale. The fourth objective is to assess tree performance and the fifth is to develop a management protocol. We will take a soil sample in November where we will submit samples for tests, namely presence of nematodes, fungi, bacteria and microorganisms. Other assessments will include the Solvita test to test the soil respiration rate. These assessments are necessary to determine the soil health in the orchards and to compare the effect of cover crops on soil health. Bee activity will also be monitored during blossom to assess the impact that cover crops have on pollinators. This will be done by setting an allocated amount of time for a defined area and then monitoring the number of bee visitation to that area. Next is the monthly monitoring of cover crops where we will monitor the progress of the covers Weed species will also be monitored to assess competition with cover crop and effect of management actions on weeds. We will also assess the effect that cover crops will have on the orchard trees and how they will affect the yield and production. So far, we have planted all four treatments at both sites and are busy monitoring the production of cover crops in the orchard rows and on the bunkies. As you can see in the pictures, this is the calibrated board with marked measurements that we will use to monitor photographically the cover crop growth, as well as the percentage cover by loading the image onto image J. We have also taken soil samples in the work rows to get an idea of how many kalimbala are currently active in the soil and what the diversity looks like. Litter traps have also been set up in the work rows to assess the litter breakdown rate of dry leaf material during this season. In this slide, you can see in the top left corner those are the litter traps that we set up in the work row. And in the top right corner is an example of how we took the soil samples. The other images, as you can see, are samples of kalimbala that we have caught in these litter traps, as well as the soil samples. And these are just a few of the many numerous kalimbala that we have caught so far. I would also just like to thank the funders of this project and also to all the contributors. Thank you.